Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. It is the 19th of the month of April 2017, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Televisions. I'm Wayne Alley. Hope you're doing well. Well, here we go. We got a little rain still, getting a little rain, at just a very little amount of rain at different times overnight. Not everyone got it, but uh, let's take a look at that forecast. Uh, you know, yesterday we hit uh, high in the 70s, which was warmer than we thought it was going to be, but it did. It hit, it hit the 70s yesterday, and then finally yesterday afternoon late, an inkling of sunshine appeared in the west, so uh, just as we anticipated it would. So today, a slight chance of rain up until about 3 o'clock, and then after 3 o'clock, a little better chance. But uh, a high today near 75, which is near what it was yesterday, so kind of a repeat of yesterday to some degree. Uh, no pun intended, some degree. Uh, chance of rain, 30% after 3 o'clock. Chance of showers up until about 9 o'clock. 30% chance of rain, 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, we'll have fog in the wee hours of the morning before sunrise tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be mostly cloudy overnight. We'll see some sky, a low near 60 this evening. That'll be just before sunrise tomorrow. And then for Thursday, we have a slight chance of showers tomorrow afternoon. We'll have uh, tomorrow morning, we'll see some fog in the area before 10 o'clock, and then it'll burn off. Otherwise, it will be partly sunny tomorrow. And here's something. It's going to be 84. Yeah, it's going to be quite warm again tomorrow. Warm temperatures are returning. Calm winds out of the southwest tomorrow, up to 8 miles an hour, but only a 20% chance of rain. So tomorrow, high temperatures again, and it feels kind of muggy. It does feel kind of muggy this morning. Yeah. All right, what's going on? Aha, 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 aha. Here is the uh, uh, answer to the question, what is special about today? Today being the 19th of April, here's what's special. Today is Bicycle Day, it's Education and Sharing Day, it's also National Hanging Out Day, you know, like, hey man, you know, that's so cool, you know what I mean, okay. Uh, National Stress Awareness Day, ah! yeah, okay. National Garlic Day, ha! <sighs> National Garlic Day, it's good for you, it's good for you, it is, it is. National, oh, I missed this one. Today is National Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day. <laughs> no, I don't make this stuff up. No, no, no. And that always comes along the day after income taxes are due. Normally due on the 15th, but the 15th was on a weekend. And then Monday was a holiday in Washington, D.C., so the IRS didn't work. So uh, they moved it to the 18th this year. And that means today, the 19th, is Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day. So if you're watching this at the 7 o'clock program, you still have time to wear your pajamas to work day. No, no, I'd get arrested. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> that's what's special about today. Here's today's trivia question. You ready for this? I'll ask the question and give you the answer here in just a few minutes. The president's residence, right? Where the president lives when he is in Washington, D.C. was originally called the president's palace. That's what it was originally called. Which president of the 45, well, excuse me, actually there's 44 different people have been president. Of the 44 different people, which president renamed it the White House? Now, I know what you're thinking. Here's a clue. Back when the White House burned during Andrew Jackson's tenure, uh, it was repainted uh, white, okay, because of all the burns and all, all that. It was after Jackson, I'll tell you that right now. It was after Jackson. Uh, but which president renamed the president's palace the White House? There you go. Got a garden festival and plant sale coming up this Saturday. If you want to, and this is a perfect time of year for this. It's springtime, trees are budding out, flowers are budding out, shrubbery's budding out, and everybody's budding. I know, that sounds like a little motorboat, doesn't it? Budding, 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 okay. Uh, Saturday the 22nd at the Cooperative Extension Service, that's at the corner of Georgia Chestnut Street, uh, North Carolina Cooperative Extension sponsoring, and the Wayne County Master Gardeners sponsoring the Garden Festival and Plant Sale. They got plants, ab plants abound, and you will be able to find some beautiful plants there to put in your garden. If you're new to gardening, that's not a problem. If you want to start gardening, that's great. Go learn something. The Master Gardeners are there to answer your questions. You don't have to have a green thumb. I've got a plaid thumb, okay? 
They'll answer your questions. Starts at 9 o'clock, goes till noon. There's something there for youngsters, sponsored by the 4-H. The beekeepers of the noose will be there. Gardening educational displays will be there to help you with your soil amendments, with uh, lawn selection, with the plant propagation, okay? And they also have some raffles and stuff like that. That's going to be a lot of fun, very educational, and an opportunity to get some gorgeous plants to put in your, in your lawn and garden, okay? Eggs and Issues Legislative Breakfast, sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce of Wayne County, will be held next Friday, the 28th, and this will be at Lane Tree. If you're a chamber member, it's only $15. If you're not a chamber member, you can still go for $25. That's all. And the two senators will be there, Senator Pate and Senator Don Davis, Senator Lewis Pate and Senator Don Davis, and the three representatives will be there. Jimmy Dixon, Larry Bell, and John Bell will be there, bringing you up to date about what's going on in Raleigh. Okay, that's at the Lane Tree Conference Center, Salem Church Road, early 30. It starts at 8 o'clock, okay? 8 o'clock that morning. And if you have any questions, call the Chamber of Commerce of Wayne County, 919 Seven three four two two four one. Okay, Game of Gherkins, the Pickle Festival, will be getting underway next Friday evening, and we'll tell you more about that a little later on. We've got uh, Julie Beck to talk to as well about that. All right, the uh, Senior Games ongoing. Today is the nineteenth. Today at Boulevard Lanes is Bowling Day. This is bowling. Now we're not talking about soup bowls. We're not talking about cereal bowls. We're talking about bowling bowls. Okay, bowling at Boulevard Lanes today at ten o'clock. The Senior Games. All right. And tomorrow it's at Herman Park Center. They're going to throw horses. They're going to throw horseshoes. They're going to throw ho horseshoes tomorrow at uh, Herman Park. All right. The answer to today's trivia question. Which president of the United States renamed the White House the White House when it was called the President's Palace? He started calling it the White House. We want to call it the White House, he said. His name was Teddy Roosevelt. That's who did it. All right, that's it for now. We'll be back again later. The program reruns at noon. It reruns then again after that at 5.30 p.m. Then we start all over again tomorrow. Hope you're able to join us. Have a great day. Drive carefully. Always wear your seatbelt because seatbelts save lives. For Pat Garner, I'm Wayne Alley, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.